Father, in the name of Jesus, as we come before your throne of grace to read, to study, to pray, Lord God, we ask that you change us, Lord God, for your glory and not ours, that you renew our minds to you in the name of Jesus, that, Lord, you would transform us, that we would be conformed to your word and not to the things that we were brought up in, Lord God. We think that as we're reading the book so pure tonight, Lord, as we're doing it in Bible study, that you're going to bless us with your might, your counsel, the fear of God, your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding, and your Holy Spirit, because you said greater is he that lives in us than he that lives in the world. So change our minds. Renew us for the good in the name of Jesus. Renew us, Lord God, so that we would be pleasing to you. Bless us to walk like Jesus. As Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Bless us to follow your word, to follow your truth, Lord God, and change our minds, not to the things that we were taught that was wrong and unholy, Lord God, the biblical things that we were taught that was wrong, that were unscriptural, Lord God, and bless us to follow your truth, to study your word, to show ourselves approved unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal us, Lord God. Minister to us, Lord God. Cure our souls right now in the name of Jesus, because we have so many Christians walking around, Lord God. We're saved, but we're still in the same mode, the same predicament. We're going home to the same things because our souls haven't been changed. Heal our souls right now in the name of Jesus as we're reading your word. Transform our souls, our minds, our thought life in the name of Jesus, because we are hearing so many different defeated Christians and their minds they're being defeated from childhood trauma Lord God from emotional trauma from ex-husbands ex-wives Lord God ex-girlfriends ex-boyfriends but God we know that all power is in your hand and our change is in your hand because Romans 12 1 and 2 says be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of our minds and verse 1 tells us to be a living sacrifice for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So, Lord, we thank you that the promises of you are yes and amen, and that your ears are attentive to hearing us, and that you know our voice because you said you know your sheep. So, thank you right now for transformation in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.